Yo, what's up guys, it's Premier here, welcome back to the channel, hopefully you guys are all having a beautiful and wonderful day, and uh, yeah, today we're back on Black Ops 4! Because you know what, there really isn't anything else to play right now, and yeah, there was a new operation today, so we gotta go look at the new weapons, we gotta go look at like all the new maps and shit like that, you know, just the usual Call of Duty thing. You know, the usual Black Ops 4 thing, the game like dies down for about a month or two, and then a new operation happens, and then everybody gets hyped again, and then the game dies down within like a week or two. But there's a couple cool things that they added, they added two new weapons that are in reserve, so the, you know, good luck on getting that shit. I really just don't like the fact that they put weapons and other really cool things inside a supply drop. I gotta just get into a game because I'm just gonna sit here ramble on for like 45 minutes. They also added sticks and stones into the game as a game mode. That's what I'm gonna be playing for a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna try to get into some DLC lobbies. If you're a loyal fan of Call of Duty, you know that the DLC lobbies are just fucking god awful. So yeah, they added two new weapons. They added the Argus shotgun and the crossbow, which you can use the crossbow in sticks and stones for free. I have the crossbow. I didn't get the Argus shotgun. They also added Reaper from Black Ops 3. You know, that robot that basically just had a mini machine gun gun inside of his arm. Might just go run around into some regular TDM lobbies or some shit like that just so I can use him. I just want to see how good his like little specialist thing is. I'm just happy that they brought back Sticks and Stones. Sticks and Stones was a staple for Black Ops 1. I'm gonna be honest here, I'm not very good at Sticks and Stones, okay? Like, I'm pretty dog shit when it comes to these game modes. I, I get really bad anxiety when I play this shit because I always feel like everyone's gonna try to set me back. <laughs> I really don't know if I'm a fucking asshole for doing that shit a lot, but just trying to win, alright? No, please don't! Please don't! There's people up here just, like, whipping out their tomahawks. So, yeah, I know I went on, like, a hiatus for, like, three days not making any videos. I know that I had the setup video the other day, and I'm, I'm really thankful that that video did really well. I didn't expect that video to do as good as it did. I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting my videos and stuff like that. Just being able to make a video about my setup and people supporting that is just insane. I just gotta hide. I really just have to hide for a solid nine seconds. I, I don't want to die. I'm such an asshole. I asked four people, had zero setbacks. I was the only one in the lobby that didn't have a setback. I know in my last video, I was talking about, like, the lighting and and everything in here. I really haven't done shit to the lighting, all right? I wanted to just sit down and make a video and just like lead the lighting as it normally would be. I definitely feel like having my ring light right there it makes it extremely bright on my face and makes me look pale like I'm a sheet of paper. This is just definitely gonna be a big trial and error with all the lighting. I wanna see if I can get into a lobby with this DLC map pack, but I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to. I was trying to get it earlier and I was having a lot of issues just trying to find a lobby. I would just get this message right here over and over and over again. This may be one of the first times ever nobody's playing a DLC map pack. No, <laughs> not gonna happen, buddy. Alright, maybe I guess that time. Like, the one thing about Sticks and Stones that I love the most about it is it's still really hectic. It can get really annoying. It can get really frustrating when people are setting you back. How many times am I going to be surrounded by you? This guy runs away every single time. You're a fucking asshole. Now we're back down to zero points, and I just feel fantastic. You know, I got two minutes left to get back to 500 points. ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING?! Oh, that guy got me again, man. You know, it just happens. That's a part of the game. It's been a really long time since I've yelled like that. Humiliation. Again? Again? Like, what's the issue, guys? Like, I'm not even posing a threat. I really wish we could have gun games, sticks and stones, one in the chamber, sharpshooter, all those game modes just set aside to where we could play them at any time that we wanted to. This game is really weird when it comes to game modes. It's just kind of stingy. I wasn't paying attention and I almost joined a lobby of Sunset Seaside. That's just an automatic back out. Is that the crossbow? The crossbow in regular multiplayer is a lot different than the crossbow in sticks and stones. Uh, it kills them more than it explodes. The, the only issue that I have with the crossbow is it's not like an instant shot. There's like a lot of travel time. We got the big daddy machine gun. Let's go. Yeah, this thing's kind of whack, actually. I seriously just don't understand how the fuck I'm missing these shots. Where the fuck did those first two shots go, man? Kind of done using the crossbow, all right? Like, it's fun. It's definitely a good gun. That lobby was kind of fun that first game. I've become so used to playing just bare bones everything that just going back to play the normal game just doesn't feel good. It, it just feels so weird to me. It feels so wrong. Literally just feels like you go to GameStop to pick up a new PS4 and you walk out with a fucking PSP. Like, some shit just does not add up. I know lately I've talked about a lot of anime shows that I've been watching. I finally started to watch Attack on Titan and I gotta just give it a big thumbs up, dude. That show is fucking amazing. Basically, just sit down and binge watch it for hours. Then I look at the time, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning and I gotta get up for work. I just straight up go to work on no hours of sleep. Wait, you can use the crossbow in this game mode? I didn't even know that I could use the crossbow in this game mode. I've been neglecting it this entire time. Yo, that's actually kind of cool that I can use the crossbow in bolt action bare bones. I need your sniper, bro. I'm sorry. I, I need it. On a normal situation, I wouldn't do that. I really hate when people double melee in snipers only. Look at this guy, man. He's unreal. This 
guy's so horny. Dude, get the fuck away from me, man. You guys suck. We got people out here saying the other team sucks. We have another guy just running around with the fucking crossbow being Superman out here. He went 50 and 20 with the crossbow. I really want to play a game on Havana. One of the biggest reasons why I wanted to play this DLC map pack so bad. Just to go back and play that Black Ops 1 map, but I swear there's just nobody playing this. I joined this game late as shit, and I'm the second place on my team. What do you guys do? 3 and 13. All right, buddy. 4 and 20. What the fuck is this lobby? So yeah, that was a little bit of sticks and stones, a little snipers only, and running around with a crossbow, which is pretty decent, man. It's actually a lot of fun. So if you guys end up getting it out of supply drops, I hope you guys enjoy it and like it. But yeah, if you guys are playing Black Ops 4 again, just because of this operation, let me know down in the comments. I've been having a little bit of fun since the contracts have been released, and I've just been playing here and there. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you guys feel like it. I hope the rest of your day is the absolute best of your day, guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, my platypie.